Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Alright, let's take a look. So, yeah, I've got all my items stocked up to where I want them to be. 99 heals, so there we go, and we are at level 26. Uh, yeah, grinding up to level 6 on the blue dragons. <laughs> I think it took maybe 20-25 minutes, so yeah, it was very quick. I planned on keeping track of it, but, but before you knew it, I was there and I'd completely forgotten to record what time I stopped. But anyways, either way, it did not take long at all. So yeah, let's take a look at our stats here now. And I got the, the magic uh, charges, uh, the magic situation um, uh, backwards last episode. Uh, the White Wizard gained his first level 8 spell charge at level 25, and Luke gained his first level 7 spell charge at level 26. So it actually worked out better than I was planning, so, or I was uh, expecting. So yeah, got two level 8 spell charges to at our disposal. So, alright, we're all prepared. <clears throat> Rested up at the end. Let's go back to the Temple of Fiends. And see what awaits us. 2,000 years previous. And here we are. Uh, a 2,000 year younger Temple of Fiends. This place is not in shambles anymore <laughs> at this point, this era. And yeah, this place can be a bit of a labyrinth, but uh, it's pretty simple to get through. Alright, so this floor has four stairwells in all four corners, however. Uh, one of them, one of them's a dead end, and two of them are blocked off. So let's just go to the one that moves us forward. I'll still be able to show you where the uh, quote-unquote dead end uh, stairwell takes you, though. Very right, simple floor there, <laughs> and here we go. All right. Well, well, well. Our old friends, the mages, and uh, a new friend, the fighter. Could have fought this guy up in the Sky Fortress, but here we are. We got 200 HP, uh, 80 attack, only attacks once, 38 defense, 93 magic defense, no weaknesses, no resistances, but it is very much a white mage. So, yeah. It's a bit hard, and it's got a lot of white magic spells. So, yeah. Um, let's take out the mages, just because. Out of... Uh, uh, tradition. <laughs> oh! I mean, we've got protection against all that, but still. We did just try to rub us out. Rub us out. Those spells are still, in, still doing quite a bit of damage, because they're casting them <laughs> in sequence. <laughs> Come on! I may actually, uh, put Luke on healing duty as well after this round. Let's get that, that, and yeah. Get back some of the health we just lost. <laughs> so yeah, there's the wall spell. Yeah. Very much a white mage. I guess technically a paladin, if you will. A high-level paladin, maybe. I don't know. <coughs> Pardon me. If it's a paladin, why is it evil? <laughs> Just occurred to me. <laughs> oh. I mean, we're called the Light Warriors. Maybe there's people called the Dark Warriors as well. Hmm. I wonder if that'll ever come into play in a Final Fantasy game. Anyways. Um, yeah, uh, do I want to heal up? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, Luke could probably just use the other one that needs it. Uh, do I want to... Well, oh, we're actually going to hold on to Mark's spell charges for a bit. Uh, we're going to be going through a lot of them in here, so yeah, we're uh, strategically using them as we go through. We've got lots of heal, but I don't want to run out of them, that's the thing. So just, uh, moderation is key. And here's a wizard of vampire. One of the, I think, only two creatures in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two creatures in the game, I believe, that can actually silence you. So, yeah. <laughs> um, 
it is kind of useful if you want to use spells, so... And I believe they can actually cast anti-fire on themselves, too, so let's just do this. <coughs> Pardon me, actually. Yeah, let's use that, why not? You know what, they're all undead. Let's just use the, uh, the stuff that they can't protect against. And we'll use the Mage Stab as well, and it will heal up. Let's see where we are after this. See so yeah, the Wizard Vampire has 300 HP, 90 attack, only hits once, 28 defense, 36 magic defense, weak to fire, and is undead, obviously. Resistant to status, poison, death, ice, and earth, and it can paralyze you, and it can silence you, as I said. Okay, the dragon survived. And all three of them survived. Great. Oh well. Since we know it's going to be at least two more rounds, let's put Luke back on healing duty. <laughs> Pardon me. There is a creature on this floor that I kind of want to run into, but if we don't, I'll go over its stats anyway. Uh, because back in the day, it was one of my most dreaded encounters on this floor before I discovered the power of the Ribbon. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember if it's the Ribbon's all that effective against it, but I think, I think it should be. Because I think the attack I'm afraid of is actually elemental, and it is protected by the Ribbon. Protect, the Ribbon does protect against it, so... If I'm not mistaken. John needs some healing. How much else? Eh. Yeah, let's use a cure three. There we go. And actually, yeah, let's use a cure two. And one cure on Matt, and we should be good to go. Beautiful. Let's go. And the fixed encounter right inside this door is a <coughs> phantom. 360 HP, 120 attack, only hits once, 60 defense, 80 magic defense, weak to fire. It is undead, so the light axes do work, but it's only one, so I'll just attack them. Uh, <coughs> resistant to status, poison, death, ice, and earth again. And it does a lot. Alright, that one was a bit too much. Anyways. <laughs> uh, can cast Time Magic, Poison, Death, Silence, can paralyze you, it can cast Fire 3, I believe, and it can, you know, basically just cast any status message magic on you, so it's it's pretty nasty. So let's do this, and let's just heal up. Try to brute force our way through it before it can do anything of significant damage. I mean, I guess we could have used the wall spell, but it's just one of them, like I said. Yeah. Couple treasure chests here. That's a lot of gold. Well, yes, technically this could be a functioning castle, so. But where is everybody? What's this? There's a stone plate on the floor. You sent something evil? Hmm. Ominous. Well. <clears throat> Remember all the way at the beginning of the game with the loot here? The tune plays revealing a stairway. If you recall, Princess Sarah said something about this being passed down from generation to generation or something like that. To the tune of that? Yeah. That was your hint. <laughs> now, the one thing you might wonder is if we had left Cornelia without picking this up and gotten all the way here without any way of teleporting back out, how would we proceed? So yeah, in this version of the game, if you do not pick this up, you cannot proceed any further. Now, you might think, oh great, now that means you'd you get stuck. Well, as long as you've saved it up till this point, you should be alright because you can't save it in here kind of thing. So yeah, it's kind of a lock, but not really, so... Alright, there's a the stairwell, let's see what's down it. Not too fan of the altar it's in front of, but here we are. Go up to the northwest. The 
set of oh, some frost giants and frost wolves there. Simple enough. And the one encounter I would have liked to run into on that uh, upper floor there was the Gas Dragon. Uh, it has 355, 353 HP, rather. 144 attack, but it only hits once, so there's one saving grace anyway. Still hits hard, though. 16 defense, 100 magic defense. It is weak to ice, and in that case, the black shirt probably would still be worth using at the beginning. Uh, resistant to earth, because obviously it's a dragon, so it flies, and its special attack is called poison. It's not like Bane or anything like that. It's not instant death, but it does a lot of damage, and that was the one, sp one attack that I was always dreading every time I went through there, so... Yeah, but I believe we, with the ribbons, we should be protected against that, and, uh, yeah. Hopefully, if you run into it, you didn't encounter too much trouble. You can into uh, a few of them. I think you can actually run into up to four of them, so, yeah. Even in, sp even in, uh, in numbers, you know, protected against something, it can still do quite a bit of damage, so, yeah. All right, let's uh, heal up again. Uh, Mark doesn't need anything. Yeah, let's use a Cure 2 on Luke. And one on John as well. And let's top up with a regular cure. And we should be good to continue. All right, let's go. Now we're back on the very first floor we came in on. These are the stairwells that were blocked off. So let's head off to the west. Boy, do those worms give a lot of experience. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, these... Encounters with low numbers, eh, just a real blessing to our healing capabilities right now. And now we are down into the basement, or the dungeon. See the uh, stairwell in the upper right there? That's where the uh, stairwell from the first floor, when we first got here, in the southwest, uh, takes you. So yeah, it just leads to a, a room there. Well, uh, there's a few statues, but that's about it, I think. Let's run into a group of, like six or seven green medusas there so yeah nobody got petrified but mark did get poison or uh stunned but anyways here we go we got the rock golem i believe you could run into these guys in the uh, sky fortress as well but you can run into them here as well so 200 hp 70 attack 16 defense 110 magic defense no weaknesses uh a bit upgraded in terms of their defenses from the mud golems uh, they've got instead of just being immune to fire ice and thunder they're immune to or they're resistant to all elemental attacks so yeah uh and resistant to uh, status poison and death as well but they can inflict you with slow so heads up <laughs> that's still quite effective against us so yeah especially mark since he's not protected against that stuff uh yeah let's go that way and that and well, let's go with this one resistant to it, but we're all healed up, so, yeah. Give him something to do. And I think that still would have done more damage than his physical attack, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, no, it's... Now we're fine. Hopefully. If they get a crit, it'll hurt, but, you know, that's the case with any of the cre these creatures, I guess you could say. <laughs> Pierces the defense. Uh, yeah, we're doing fine. Perfect. Awesome. Let's keep going. So, yeah, as you can see, that room basically goes nowhere. There's another group of golems there. Alright, before I take another step, let's heal up to the maximum, if you will. <laughs> uh,. Yeah, even one hit. Yeah, we're we're gonna need it. And I probably could use spells, but let's save those. All right, here we go. We're actually, getting close to level twenty-seven. Nice. And it is the lich. Even now, he's undead. How old is he, anyways? <laughs> the lich, however, a bit stronger. Uh, it's got a 100 extra HP, so it's 500 HP, 50 attack, 50 defense, 70 magic defense. No weaknesses beyond it being undead, so yeah. Uh, still use the uh, the harm spells and that kind of stuff. Resistant to status, poison, death, and ice attacks. So I guess you could use fire and thunder. 
have some ideas. Uh, can use time magic, death, and it can paralyze you with a physical physical attack. However, the number one thing you want to be worried about. He's got a 25% chance of using it each round, and that is the nuke spell. In our current state, it can do around 400 damage. So yeah, Matt, Luke, and John could, especially in jo uh, Luke's case, could be in for a world of hurt, if not completely one-shotted. So hopefully we don't see it, but if we do, hopefully it's not John that gets wiped out. Uh, famous last words, right? <laughs> but yeah, in this case, we're just going to go all out and hope for the best. Um, yeah, let's see what his physical attack does. Ooh, nice crit from Matt there. Oh! Phew. So yeah, you kind of want to take him down as quickly as possible. <laughs> Phew. Anyways, let's go. Ooh, this is an interesting floor. Yeah, there shouldn't be any new enemies on this floor, aside from the one at the end. So let's just edit out as I go. There's a couple more Agamas there. Red Giants were included in the previous battle, so yeah. There's a bunch of fire enemies. Oh! Just ran into four Red Dragons, so yeah, that blaze attack did a number on us. I just basically took out three of them in the last one. I just had sent Matt at them and uh, had Mark, Luke, and John use their healing equipment to heal up just to save ourselves the pain of dipping into this amount of healing. All right, let's go with the cure threes on uh, yeah, Matt first. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, Mark, uh, used up all your cure twos, so let's... There. Uh, there. John. And looks like we can get one on one more cure on Matt and Mark, and we should be good to go. There we go. Let's go. But yeah. <laughs> Four red dragons are still as scary as you think they are. Alright. Now we could go up there to continue forward, or we can go down here. For some more treasure. Alright, what's in here? Can't hold them anymore. No! Our armor! Well. Uh, all right, well, <clears throat> pardon me. It is time to start dropping some things. First thing I'm going to drop is the Zeus Gauntlets. Because of what's in here, it is stronger. So yeah, the Zeus Gauntlets was 6 absorb, 3 evade. And what's in here is a pro cape, which is, I believe, 8 in 1 or 8 in 2 or something like that. So yeah, it's an upgrade. And Luke could use it since he's only got the gold bracelet, whereas John's got the opal. Yeah that difference in the defense there, especially with Luke's HP being the lowest one right now. Yeah. I did equip it right. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. On the bright side, one thing I could suggest, since we got rid of the Zeus Gauntlets, if you want it, since we aren't really using John's uh, physical attack, you could theoretically give the Thor the Thor's hammer to Luke so he'd still have the, uh, the infinite uh, lit two spells. Just, just a thought there. Maybe quit the heal staff or something on John, but yeah, even then. When we're not healing... Yeah, when we're not healing, John's basically using the, the black shirt, so... Yeah. <laughs> just uh, four gray worms there. They're not quite as lucrative on the experience as their uh, worm counterparts, but uh, another treasure chest looks like special. Yeah, it's just got 26,000 gold in it, though. Alright. They may not have as much experience as their worm counterparts, but they did indeed push us over level 27. Nice. Yeah, we're getting close to the next hits, so let's go. But how much further do we have to go, is the question. What's in here? Another treasure chest. What's in it? No! Well, again, the armor we get out of here is worth it, so we've got a choice. We can either drop the heal helmet and lose a bit of healing on Luke there, 
or we can drop the black shirt. <sighs> I mean, John still has the Thor's hammer, but I think I'm gonna drop the heel helmet in favor of the last protector ring. Well, I guess we could have bought them, but you know, <laughs> why bother? We can get them for free. And there we go. So now Luke's defense should, yeah, right up there. 4168 with a gold bracelet and John's opal bracelet. Yeah, very comparable. Slightly higher evasion, too, with the lesser HP. Nice. Just ran into four fire elementals there. <laughs> uh, definitely not as scary as the red dragons. Funny, I should say, red dragons. <laughs> There's only three of them at a time, and they managed to, uh, they decided to abstain from the blaze attack so much, so we got out of there relatively unscathed. Still hurting, though. Uh, yeah, okay, marks are all gone. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, let's get uh, Cure 3 on uh, John there. And we need a Cure 2 as well. Maybe another Cure 2. <laughs> uh. And just to cure spells. Uh, there, and yeah, that's good. Alright. What's over here? Another room. Not to spoil what's inside. And in here we get another treasure. Who would have thought? <laughs> and we get another katana. So yeah, if you happen to have two ninjas, or you didn't get the one up in the Sky Fortress, you can get it now. Anyways. Uh, one thing I should probably go over since our the dynamic of our party has changed just by dropping that heel shield or heel helmet. In battle, if we need to use multiple heels, like the heel helmet and that kind of stuff, I just have Mark and John use it. You know, Mark uses heel helmet, John uses the heel staff, and Matt and Luke take care of the uh, the damage uh, for that round kind of thing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing uh, from here on out. So for that, so yeah, so I'd mention that since the, like I said, the dynamic of our party has changed. So. Got the other katana. Let's continue onward. Let's keep going. healed up. I think we're sitting all right. Yeah, heal staff and heal helmet definitely came in clutch in this floor. <laughs> all the AoE attacks and uh, all right, let's go. And I'm beginning to see a pattern here. So yeah, <laughs> Carrie again like Lich. She's get she's a bit stronger now. She's 2,000 years younger. So yeah, <laughs> she has 700 HP uh, from the 600 previously. Uh, 60 attack, so a bit of a strength boost, and she still hits six, up to six times, so heads up, so she can still do quite a bit of damage on you. I'll probably use at least one inv Invis 2 spell if I can. Uh, 60 defense, 30 magic defense, no weaknesses, so yeah, the uh, status susceptibility from 2,000 years in the future, yeah, it doesn't exist here, so just gotta go all out on her, I guess you could say. Uh, no statuses. Resistant to poison, fire, ice, and thunder, and yeah. She casts fire, she can kill you, and she can paralyze you, so, yeah. Alright, let's do this. Uh, who do we want to use? We've got four of them. And... You've got, really, five of them? Yeah, you use it. Don't want to use any fast spells yet. If you can help it. Alright, and there, and. Yeah, she's using heal staff. I want to play it safe here. Like, yeah, she can hit eight times, or six times, so yeah. If one of those crits, whoever it hits, could be in a world of hurt, if not dead. <laughs> Although our HP, since we got to level 27, isn't as dire as it was when we fought Lich, so. And down she goes. All right. Uh, anybody need to be healed for that? 
Oh, Mac can use a potion. Yeah, let's give it one. Why not? We're sitting pretty on those anyway, so... Things are going well so far. Here's hoping that doesn't... Hopefully that doesn't come to bite us in the butt. But whether it does or not, we'll continue to sing the praises of the Lord. <laughs> All right. Running into a lot of trolls, lobsters, and sneeze sea snakes down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. But yeah. Uh, nothing on this floor that we haven't run into. Again, unlike uh, until the one at the end. So yeah. No treasure on this floor. Man, I forgot how much those water elementals hurt. <laughs> oh, uh, I got a few good hits in there. All right, um, healing, healing. You know what? Let's start dipping into these. Uh, do we want to do the heal too? No, we want the life spell, so let's just use the heals here. Uh, who else? Yeah, let's use another one. And another one. <laughs> Until it's not worth it. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Uh, I'll top up the potion. Matt, that is. For uh, Luke. I mean, I've still got to use the... Yeah, that's fine. I don't need it. Got the heal stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, the heal stuff, so... Yeah. Right, let's keep going. Did you see anything? No? Alright. Just curious. What about you? Treasure? No. <laughs> Alright. Let's go this way. Alright. You want to stop right here. Make sure you're all healed up. To the max. Alright. Here we go. The Bruiser. The Kraken. Itself. Himself. All right, just like the previous two, the Kraken has gotten a bit of an upgrade here. He's 2,000 years younger, so yeah, he's uh, much more youthful. 900 HP versus 800 previously. 70 attack. He still hits up to eight times, so yeah. <laughs> Do the math. F potentially, a potential of 560 damage with one of his physical attacks. So yeah, we're going to be using the Advis 2 spells here and hopefully getting that... Or not the, the, uh, not the Advis, the Fog 2 spells here. Hopefully getting his attack down before he does anything to anybody. I think Mark's the only one that could potentially survive, so yeah. Uh, one of those strikes. Alright, so 70 defense, 100 magic defense, not weak to anything. Uh, resistant to fire and earth, and he's, I believe he's actually gained the ability to cast, th to cast uh, thunder magic, so on top of the darkness. So, Alright, do I want to use fast here? We've got three there. How many does Luke have? Hmm. We'll use one with Matt. And, oh, no, Matt. <laughs> yeah, one up with Matt. And. Yeah, we want. Well, yeah, we need to get that damage down, so let's. Both of them use uh, Fog 2 here. Oh! Matt's dead. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that's why we held on to the life spells. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of us can survive. <laughs> or at least John, anyway. We've got enough to revive everybody but him. Alright, um... Yeah, let's use a fast since we lost Matt. Um... Yeah, let's use another one. I feel a bit better now. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Um, what do I want you to do? I mean, defense might not. Nah, it, <laughs> it might alleviate one hit from that, but... Meh. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. The defense just to be safe. And, yeah, heal. Ooh. 
Ooh. Even with the reduction. Alright, uh, what do we have as far as healing? Cure 2, let's use it. Yep, dipping into the stronger healing. And there goes Mark. <laughs> Woohoo, and a crit saves us. We pull through. Alright, let's get Matt back up. A casualty. Alright, uh, who needs to be healed? Well, I don't think we've got much choice. I mean, we could use Cure 4 to get him right up. Ah, uh, I still want to hold on to those. I mean, we've still got these, but it kind of, eh. I'll try to hold on to two blue spells for you. Yeah, you know what? Let's just use Cure 4. Have it and be done with it. Alright. Um, do you have any more? No, we don't. Alright. And one more. There we go. Alright. Back to it. Alright. A few more water elementals there, and here we are. Alright. We want to go to the southeast of this floor. Group of vampires there, just light axes and mage staff all the way. Alright, um. Oh, nope, let's hold on to those. Um. I mean, it's. Mm, let's use it. Alright, yeah, that's what I was worried about. But the odds of it actually getting the full t uh, amount of mark getting up to there, yeah, was slim, but oh uh, well. We got lots of heal potions still, so we're still good. I guess you could say the reason why I'd say try to focus on using the heal potions outside of battles because when they get inside of battle, they have the effectiveness of a cure spell. So yeah, outside of battle, they're a flat 30 heal, so yeah. Probably should have given that a bit more... Uh, should I give them a bit more sway over my decisions coming down here? But anyways, as far as this floor goes, there's only two enemies that we have not run into that I would likely leave in if I saw them. So, yeah. One of them I actually uh, gave warning about when we got to the Sky Fortress, I believe. So, yeah. Alright, um, yeah, let's use the heal potions. Let's try to use those up a bit more down here. Alright. Alright, we're good. Let's go. How close are we to level 28 by any chance? Yeah, we're getting there. We're close. <laughs> good. Very good. Those air elementals are a slog. They've got low defense, it's just their evasion is nuts. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're still good though. A few more vampires there. Wizard vampire as well. Ooh, treasure chest. What's in here? Better not be armor. It is not. It is a weapon. The Masamunake Katana. Okay. This weapon is the strongest, quote unquote, the best weapon in the game. Everybody can use it. Even a monk, or even a, a black belt can use it. Even a white mage can use it, white wizard, anybody can use it. However, at this point in the game, we have three people that can that are regular damage dealers. We got Mark, who's the knight, who's got the Excalibur, Matt with the katana, and we got Luke with going back and forth between the defense. Some people are quite fond of giving this to the red mage at this point in the game, because, well, you know, Matt's got the katana, uh, Mark's got, the, Mark's got the Excalibur, and both of those weapons are exclusive to those classes. So I said, hey, why not give the Masamune to uh, the, uh, the Red Mage here? However, let's uh, get the defense on Luke here. As you can see, Luke is, well, we're just about to reach level 28, and Luke is that level away from being able to hit a fourth time with the defense. And with the Masamune... 
it obviously bumps up bumps him up quite a bit to 68109 so that gets him the extra hit so the only reason once we reach level 28 the only reason to have done the red wizard here is for the extra boost in damage like i think it's what that's about a 50 percent increase in damage but doing the math i found that the best person to give this to is the ninja right now it gets the most out of it so 68 123 for the knight with the excalibur 68 107 for the ninja here and once luke can equip the uh, defense and get that extra hit fourth hit that results in overall all three of them doing the most damage alternatively the second best person to give it to is mark just to show you the difference so right now mark is sitting at 68 123 and this will definitely give him an extra hit so yeah it gives him a fifth hit or yeah <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah, a fifth. Yeah, four, uh, put him up to five hits. So yeah, Mark would be the second one. So like I said, though, I'm gonna give it to Matt. Well, for now, I'm gonna give it to Luke because you know <laughs> we still need to get that level. And once we do, then I'll switch it over to Matt. Let's heal up. Alright, let's go. Also, I suppose I'll mention it now. This game, Final Fantasy 1, the very first one in the franchise, does indeed have does indeed have a super boss. That boss, you might, if you were unlucky enough, is a the one in sixty-four chance of encounter on Tiamat's floor in the Sky Tent, the Sky Fortress. I did not want to run into it when we were going after Tiamat, and fortunately we did not, because I would have liked to save it for a bonus episode. Now, I'm going to be having to go through this place again to get that weapon and then teleport out. I'm going to be going up against the super boss with the Masamune in hand, just simply because I'll be recording it and I, I want as much of an edge as possible to make that as painless as possible. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I just thought I'd mention that. There is still one more episode down the pipes. And Luke's first hit with the Masamune was 685. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, yeah, we are knocking on level 28's door, so. And uh, there we have it, level 28. Let's get the weapons all sorted out. So you want these color? Yeah, so let's get this to Matt. Matt's put that there. This is still going to be Luke's, yeah, this is uh, fourth hit. Mark is one level away from getting his fifth hit anyway with the Excalibur, so yeah. <laughs> and of course, Matt is still one level and a few experience behind because he got hit. <laughs> hit hard. <laughs> By the Kraken. All right, let's just top up. Let's go. How many of you were screaming at me to equip the Masamune? <laughs> Ironically, Matt's first attack with his fist got a crit, so he didn't do too little damage. <laughs> but yeah, oopsie. But yeah, in that previous episode, uh, last uh, previous fight, uh, Matt did get to level 20. So yeah. Anyways, forgot I didn't mention that. Alright, stop right here. Let's heal up. Uh, yeah, Luke needs it. So I'm sure we all have an idea of who's sitting right in front of us. Alright. Let's go. And there she is. Again. 2,000 years younger, she's got 1,100 HP, so an extra 100 HP on top of the previous time we fought her. 75 attack, she hits four times still. 
and 90 defense 100 magic defense no weaknesses she is no longer she is not susceptible to any uh, poison elemental stuff so yeah the bane sword is not gonna work here uh, doesn't say she's resistant to it but she's just not weak to it so who knows it may still work I don't know but anyways I'm not gonna bother relying on that though it could take too long uh, resistant to fire thunder ice and earth and yes uh, she can poison us she can cast ice fire and thunder so yeah actually no I think her poison is literally just that poison attack that I was worried about from the gas dragons so it just does damage so just poison elemental so all right this one let's uh eh, yeah it's gonna ruse up why not let's get a fast on mark fast on Matt and do I want to do you know what um Nah, he's protected against it, so I won't bother with the wall spell. Might be worth it to use the uh, fog too, though. Uh, he's got two of them. Hang on, how many does Maluk have? Uh, yeah, let's use that. And heal. Just to cushion any blows that team I might throw our way. Oh, okay, well, there you go. She does use Bane. I forgot about that. Fortunately, we're all protected against it, so we should be alright. Alright, there. Use a fast on Matt. And heal. Nice. Well, the damage was suffering, but... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's use a defense. Why not? <coughs> Pardon me. Anything take the edge off. I mean, she only hits four times, but yeah, seventy-five times four. Yeah, could do quite a bit of damage. We've probably still got plenty of heals to recover from that, but uh, only outside of battle, and down she goes. 500 experience, and there we go. We have defeated her in her stronger form. Her younger form. Alright, let's go. Uh, we're, we're okay. Well, John can use one. Continue on. Deeper still. Ooh, it's the big floor. So yeah, the two enemies I did not run into uh, on the previous floor there were the evil man. I might have mentioned. I might have mentioned that him about him in the uh, Sky Fortress. Yeah, the evil man has nine, 190 HP, 110 attack. He only hits once though. Not the thing you got to worry about though. 32 defense, 87 magic defense, no weaknesses. Resistant to status, poison, and death. And he can use the nuke spell as well. Yeah, kind of like the lich. But yeah, he can use it as well. And I believe he can run in. I don't know how many he can run into. I don't think it's ridiculous like the bad man. But uh, yeah. Keep an eye out. Primary him as soon as you see him. And hopefully you'll survive. <laughs> the other one is actually the 1 in 64 encounter in there. The iron golem. 304 HP. 186 attacks, so he hits like a truck. He only hits once, but it still hits like a truck. He's got a lot of experience, though. 6,717 experience drop. Yeah, then split that among us four. Yeah. 100 defense, 72 magic defense, so yeah, your physical attacks are probably going to do about half damage. And yeah, no weaknesses, resistant to status, poison, death, earth, fire, and ice. But as you notice there, he is not immune to thunder, so that's something to consider as well. Um, and yeah, no special attacks that I th can recall, so yeah. If I, uh, I'm actually gonna look that up again just to make sure that I got that right, and if there is anything, I'll put it in the video description, but anyways, so yeah, those are the only two that we did not run into. <laughs> uh. Who is this? Remember me, Garland? Your puny lot thought it had defeated me, but the four fiends sent me back 2,000 years into the past. 
From here I sent the four fiends to the future. The fiends will send me back to back to here and the time loop will go on. Make sure we're healed up. <laughs> uh yeah, and John. Make sure we've got everything where we want it to be. Um, and I think so. Alright. After 2,000 years, I will be forgotten and the time loop will close. I will live forever and you shall meet Doom. And here he is in his true form, Chaos himself. 2,000 HP, 100 attack, and he hits up to twice. So yeah, that could hurt. If he connects with both hits, and especially if he crits, but anyways, with one of them. Anyways, uh, 100 defense, 100 magic defense, no weaknesses, resistant to all elements. He can paralyze you with his physical attack. Makes sense. You get punched with that fist. Yeah, you're uh, you're gonna be taking a timeout <laughs> for a little few, few few rounds. And he can use all elements. He's even got some water elemental attacks as well. So yeah. Um, which we do not protect against, I don't believe, so yeah. He can get around a ribbons, but anyways. The one thing, the one, I believe, gimmick about this is that the eighth spell in his list is Cure 4. In other words, we have eight, we have to take him out before he gets to his eighth spell. Use Cure 4, and we'll have to start all over again. Takes his HP all the way up to 2000 and heals any statuses that he may be afflicted with. He, I don't think he's a service to help. He could be afflicted with anything, but still, yeah, you want to take him out before he gets to his uh, eighth spell. So, let's do this. Uh, let's just use this as a time to cruise up a bit. Let's get fast on Mark fast on Matt, and for you, that gets her a ruse up as well. It's going to spend a couple of rounds here, just buffing up for the battle ahead. Alright. Glad I did that. Alright, and I think... Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go. Attack. You are okay, I believe. I'll have Luke fast himself, so yeah, let's just attack. Uh, fast himself. And anything I want you to do. I mean, we could do a fog too as well. Why not? Oh no, I forgot wall. I was gonna put wall on Mark. <laughs> Please don't make me pay for it. <laughs> okay, just ice. <laughs> Whew. Dodged a bullet there. Attack, 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 and I want wall on mark. Beautiful. There we go. We are all, are all protected against everything we could possibly be protected against in this game. Eight hits from loot, nice. Didn't do too much damage, but still. Our HP's getting down there, I might want to heal up. Uh, yeah, let's use a hero too. Well, can't revive in battle. Got the wall up. Use it. Yeah, let's use fade. Why not? We're on a time limit here, so yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Instant death. Earth attack. Ooh. Come on, fade. Oh, and down he goes to the holy spell. Chaos defeated by holy. Yeah, in future games. The time loop is now broken. 
The 2,000 year long battle is over. Peace prevails. Control of the four elements, the earth, the wind, the fire, and the water again belongs to the earth. Garland's hatred burned for 2,000 years. That hatred led the four powers to this world. Chaos was created from those four. Evil dominated the world and covered it in darkness. But it is over now. Wrong has been set right. The Light Warriors are returning. As they travel in time, the world returns to normal. Sarah and Jane wait for them. Of course, Garland does too. But when did it ever happen? Everything went mad in a day. The reason lies in the 2,000 year time loop. The four chose to become one force and fight against the four evil forces that set darkness upon the world. When the four return, it will be to their past. All signs of the battle with the forces will be erased. But the legend will live on, passed down by the dwarves, the elves, and the dragons. Passed on by peoples unsure where the story came from. The Light Warriors return from their journey back in time 2,000 years. The memories stored deep in their hearts will protect the world. Never forget the tr good and true. Never turn the four powers to the dark side. And truth will always live in the hearts of the people. warrior who broke the 2000 year time loop is truly a light warrior. That warrior was you. May the orbs always shine. And we get an actual cutscene. <laughs> ah. What can I say that isn't already said by the fact that I've already LP'd, well, an alternate version of this game on this channel already? As it stands right now, it is currently my favorite Final Fantasy. Maybe because it's my first, it was my first one. Maybe it's because of the replayability. Maybe it's because of how fun it is. It's just... And it's like not ridiculously long, so you can just pick it up and complete it in a couple of days, and yeah. Such a fun game. One of my, one of the most fun games I've ever played. But yeah. I gotta say, it's still at number one for me. Despite how much I love Final Fantasy VIII, how much I love Final Fantasy X, this one is still sitting at the top. But in any case, thank you all so very much for coming along this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned. I was able to teach you a few things. Hopefully, uh, the things I learned I actually remember from going forward. <laughs> 
i.e. the wall spell <laughs> that I finally used in, uh, what, that would be, what, 30 years I've been playing the game. <laughs> so yeah, took a bit of a, a break there, but managed to get back to it as things have calmed down in my life uh, quite a bit from what they were. So yeah, I was able to finally get back to it and uh, complete it at least. <sighs> but as I said, there is still one ep one planned episode of taking on the super boss, and depending on how that goes, I may include one more battle with that video, depending on how long it takes. Uh, just going over, I guess you could kind of say it's a uh, the quote unquote mini boss of the overworld, if you will. Whereas more worthy is the uh, ooh, I almost spoiled it. The the ultra super boss or whatever is in the sky fortress. There is one enemy on the world that actually has as much HP as Carrie does. <laughs> And it does hit like a truck as well, and it's it's a 1 in 64 encounter in a very specific area of the world. So yeah, I'll try to track it down if I've got time and include that. But main thing is, next, the bonus episode will be about the super boss. And uh, yeah, so we'll have to, between now and then, I'll go back through the uh, Temple of Fiends. Hopefully everybody survives on one piece. Grab the Masmune, teleport out, and get myself set up to take on the super boss of the very first Final Fantasy, the first one of the franchise, which has carried that super boss mentality through and through until its current 16th iteration. Actually, did Final Fantasy XI and do 14 have like super bosses, or are they just all the bosses considered super bosses? But anyways, never played both of those, but uh, maybe you guys can uh, help me out and let me know if... Uh, Either of those games actually do have one specific super boss that you can go after. But in any case, thank you all again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. Take care. God bless. And have a good one.